Imagine looking up at the night sky and realizing something has changed. Not in years, not in centuries, but right now. A bright visitor from another star system, once glowing, steadily, suddenly, begins to fade. First gently, then rapidly its light drops by half in just a few days. Astronomers scramble NASA telescopes shift their gaze, and four major observatories report the same thing. Three Iatlas, the interstellar object once hailed as a cosmic messenger, is dimming in ways no one can explain. This isn't fiction. It's happening in real time. Discovered in July 2025 by the Atlas Observatory in Chile, 3 Iatlas was immediately recognized as something extraordinary, not bound to the sun moving on a hyperbolic path coming from the deep cold between the stars. Its orbit meant it would pass through our solar system once and then vanish forever into interstellar darkness. For weeks, it glowed like a small comet shedding gas and dust wrapped in a thin, shimmering coma. At first, everything fit expectations. But then the data started breaking the rules. The Hubble Space Telescope estimated its core to be barely 3.5 meters across, absurdly small for an active comet, yet somehow bright enough to be seen across millions of kilometers. Soon after, the James Webb Space Telescope delivered a surprise that sent ripples through every astronomy lab, 3 Iatlas was ejecting mostly carbon dioxide, not water. The ratio was roughly eight parts CO2 to one part H2O, an inversion of every cometary chemistry ever recorded. That meant this object had formed in a place so cold and carbon-rich that it couldn't have originated anywhere near a sun-like star. Suddenly, this faint traveler wasn't just another rock. It was a chemical time capsule from an alien solar system. NASA coordinated a global observation campaign involving Webb Hubble Mars orbiters and Earth-based telescopes to track every flicker. But before the full data arrived, the panic began. In late September, multiple telescopes from Chile, Hawaii, and the Canary Islands registered a synchronized global dimming. Across ultraviolet visible and infrared bands, the light intensity dropped almost identically. Natural fluctuations can't do that. Something fundamental was happening. Was the object disintegrating? Was its outgassing suddenly cut off? Or was it undergoing a process we had never witnessed before a transformation triggered by sunlight hitting alien material? Within hours, NASA declared a level one observation alert, reallocating telescope time and diverting deep space relays toward three Iatlas. Analysts called it a live anomaly. The data flow surged across the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Goddard Space Flight Center, and European partners. No one wanted to miss a single photon. The stakes were huge. For the first time in history, we were watching an interstellar object change before our eyes. But as the brightness continued to fall, unease grew. If this fading was real and not an illusion of dust or angle, then something profound was unfolding, something that could redefine how we understand matter from beyond our solar system. What does it mean when a body from another star dims in perfect synchrony across all wavelengths? Is it a collapse, a chemical metamorphosis, or something more mysterious? And could this be the key to understanding how alien worlds evolve under the light of distant suns? Three Iatlas had just begun to reveal its secret, and the world was watching. As data poured in, scientists tried to decode the mystery buried inside that fading light. The first working theory was simple. Maybe the comet's activity had slowed down. Ordinary comets brighten when sunlight heats their surface, releasing water vapor and dust a process called outgassing. When that process stops, they dim. But 3 Iatlas wasn't ordinary. It wasn't even from here. And the change was too abrupt, too uniform, too global. A rotation could cause a temporary dip in brightness, but then the light would fluctuate as the object spun. This time, it didn't. The brightness stayed low and stable like someone had flipped a switch. NASA's astrophysics teams began cross-referencing data from Hubble WWST and ground observatories. The spectral analysis confirmed something startling. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water stayed constant even as the total light dropped. The gas was still there, but the way it interacted with light had changed. That suggested a surface transformation 
rather than an internal shutdown. When ultraviolet light from the sun hits carbon-rich ice, it can trigger chemical reactions that produce dark organic compounds called Tholins complex molecules that absorb visible light and make surfaces look red or black. On Titan and Pluto, Tholins are what give those worlds their rusty hue. On an interstellar comet, such a layer could form almost overnight, dimming it dramatically without destroying it. In other words, three Ayatlas might not be dying. It could be changing skin. Meanwhile, other telescopes detected tiny irregularities in its light curve, subtle wobbles that hinted at surface fractures or fragment ejection. If chunks were breaking off, they could temporarily block sunlight or coat the core in fine dust. The timing matched the first reports of the dimming. Suddenly, what looked like a calm traveler might have been in chaos, beneath its shell, collapsing inward or sealing itself in darkness. Inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, simulations tested every possibility. Rotational axis shifts, thermal cracking cryovolcanic plumes, even micro-explosions of trapped gas. Each model showed partial alignment with the observed data, but none explained the symmetry of the dimming across every wavelength. That's what kept everyone awake, because symmetrical fading usually means a change in the reflective properties of the surface itself. The ESA joined the round-the-clock campaign, reprogramming its Mars orbiters to capture three Iatlas during its flyby near Mars in early October. Even from millions of kilometers away, they detected the same reduced brightness. It was real, not a local atmospheric distortion or data error. And then came the green flash, a short-lived faint optical emission reported by the Subaru telescope in Hawaii, possibly caused by ionized carbon reacting to solar wind. If confirmed, it meant the object was still active beneath the darkened crust. A hidden storm of chemistry might be unfolding inside that cold fragment from another world. The more data came in, the less sense it made. NASA's lead investigator summarized it bluntly. Either 3 Iatlas is teaching us something completely new about interstellar matter, or it's showing us how little we actually know. The following days, turned into a global scientific vigil. Every telescope capable of tracking three Iatlas was pointed at it, from the deserts of Chile to observatories in Spain, Hawaii, and South Africa. Astronomers synchronized their instruments to record its every flicker. Even Mars orbiters transmitted auxiliary readings as the object glided through its closest approach to the red planet. It was the first time humanity coordinated such a large-scale observation of a single interstellar object in real time. What they found only deepened the mystery. The loss of brightness wasn't random. It followed a mathematical pattern, steady exponential, and nearly identical across ultraviolet visible and infrared wavelengths. That ruled out simple rotation or partial shadowing. Something global had changed on the object's surface. Infrared readings hinted that it was still retaining heat longer than expected, suggesting that a new layer of material was forming, possibly an insulating crust, trapping volatile gases beneath it. If that were true, three Iatlas had built itself a natural heat shield, perhaps an unintended reaction to solar radiation. It was behaving like a living laboratory of alien chemistry. This discovery electrified the scientific community. The James Webb data revealed that despite the dimming emissions of carbon dioxide and cyanide, two critical molecules for tracing organic chemistry remained detectable, although weaker than before. That consistency baffled chemists. If the outgassing had simply stopped, those lines should have disappeared completely. Instead, they persisted faintly as if the gases were leaking through microscopic fractures. It was like listening to a heartbeat through a thick wall. Astrobiologists began to speculate that these processes could be similar to the early chemical reactions that once shaped prebiotic matter on ancient worlds. The idea that sunlight interacting with cosmic ice could generate organic complexity wasn't new, but watching it happen live on a visitor from another star system was unprecedented. Meanwhile, at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, a group of physicists proposed a more mechanical explanation, structural collapse. Over billions of years, exposure to cosmic radiation 
could harden the surface of an interstellar object, creating a brittle shell. When such an object finally encounters a star, internal pressure from trapped gases could shatter the crust, releasing dust that momentarily obscures its brightness. The team modeled this scenario and found it fit the timeline precisely. But if that were true, then three Iatlas might be far more fragile than expected. Perhaps one solar flare away from total disintegration. The possibility raised a chilling thought. How many interstellar visitors have we missed? Because they simply crumble before we ever see them. The realization hit home, our understanding of the universe depends on the light we can detect. And here was a cosmic traveler teaching us that even light can lie. While the object continued to fade, a quiet awe spread through the scientific world. This was not just another data point. It was an encounter with the unknown happening in plain sight. Weeks passed and three Iatlas settled into a strange calm. Its light stopped falling but never returned to its original brilliance. It hovered at a faint plateau stable, yet muted as if exhausted after a violent transformation. NASA's final analysis confirmed that the object had not disintegrated, it had changed. The outer layers now appeared darker, richer, in complex carbon chains, absorbing more sunlight while releasing less gas. James Webb's spectroscopic readings showed subtle shifts in absorption bands that could only be explained by new molecular structures forming on the surface tholins and hydrocarbon polymers, the same kinds of compounds that color Titan's orange haze and Pluto's red planes. In just days, three Iatlas had evolved chemically in a way that takes eons on planets. Engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory were stunned. The heat retention data suggested this new surface acted like an insulating skin preventing rapid vapor loss and stabilizing the core temperature. Nature, in essence, had created a self-preserving shield, a cosmic technology lesson hiding in plain sight. For mission designers, this offered clues for future spacecraft materials capable of surviving extreme radiation and temperature swings. For scientists, it was a message about resilience and adaptation on a cosmic scale. The implications reached beyond astrophysics. If matter from another star could so quickly reorganize under sunlight, what did that say about the universality of chemistry or even the seeds of life? Some astrobiologists argued that three Iatlas might be showing us a process common across galaxies, the spontaneous creation of organic compounds when starlight meets frozen carbon. Others urged caution, reminding the community that fascination must not replace evidence. But one consensus emerged three Iatlas had changed our perception of what it means to be alive in the cosmos. As it continued its trajectory out of the solar system, instruments recorded a final whisper of infrared radiation, a faint echo of warmth trapped beneath its crust, a cosmic ember fading into interstellar night. When it finally slipped beyond the range of our telescopes, no one expected a dramatic finale. It simply disappeared quietly like a thought, drifting back into the void it came from. Yet, its legacy remained. It forced us to rethink detection strategies to consider that most interstellar visitors might vanish before we ever notice them hidden behind their own chemistry. And it left behind a philosophical question that haunted scientists and dreamers alike if a small object from another star can transform so profoundly under our sun's light what might happen to us to life to matter to meaning when the universe itself shines its next unexpected light upon us.